Hi there, let's create our first uh, Citas of Daisy server application. It's going to be a progressive web app. So what you need to do on your Citas of Daisy to download in the copy to additional libraries folder, you need to copy all of these uh, files to the additional libraries, you know. So this is the template for the server application and then this is the updated before Xlib. So in, in my own structure, what I've created, I've created the C libraries folder where I'm having everything stored there. So this is uh, the template there and then this is the tassel daisy. So you get it from your download and then you put it there, you know. So you start before J because the template is already in your additional libraries folder it's going to be added to the list of projects that you can create so we're going to start a new project you click on file you click on new and then you locate citaso daisy server which is actually going to be a new citaso daisy pwa server project so you select that and then there is your workspace and then what you need to do is to create a new project let's call it sd server one you know so i'm going to click ok because i'm creating a server application so this is the structure of the application itself as you can see here we have main which is where our application entry point is and then it calls up to initialize up to initialize on banana ready is the name of our browser app class model so in the previous uh, projects for Citaso Daisy, everything was a code model. But in this particular instance, for the server applications, everything needs to be a class model. So when you're creating your pages, you need to create a class model. And each and every page is going to start with browser. You see these pages start with browser, 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 browser. So these are the different pages that we are able to create in our application. How do you create a page? You go to project, you set a new model, and you set class model, and you select the standard class. And then there, you're going to say browser in capital letter. And then, for example, if we are saying our page is called uh, categories, then we are going to call it categories and then we click OK. So we have created a new page here, which is categories. But because it needs to be compiled and transpiled by Banana, we need to prefix it with browser. So to create this particular new page, what I've done, I have a blank template here. So what you can do is to copy the blank template and then you paste it here and say uh the name is categories and then you say this is categories you know now this is a blank layout in our files so if you go to file manager and our layout this is the blank layout here so you can go there and open the layout Let's save this layout as categories layout. Categories layout, you know, and then we change the page name to be categories. This page name here is exactly the same as what is here. So it should be the same categories. And then on our layout the page name is categories and the parent id for it is page view so we are fine in relation to this now this here is the padding like for example if you want to increase the padding of everything in the page you can just say that it's 10. let's add a label here custom view and then we we'll add a label and then we're going to give it some core uh, data 
the parent ID here is categories ne? categories because the name of the page let make let's make this to be h4 and then the caption is categories you know or maybe let's make it to be lorem epsom you know so we save our layout categories layout we close and then we change this to be categories layout yeah. now the next thing that we need to do is to make sure that this page is known by the application yeah. so you go to your main yeah. and then there as you can see we have defined all our classes here so that they are accessible in anywhere within our application so what we're going to do is to say public categories as browser categories because this is a page linked to this particular page yeah. when the page is started it calls initialize and then when we want to show the page we just call show so for the page to be known in our application we're going to have to add it to the application structure itself the application structure itself is in the browser app you know where we define our application so our application task starts here and then the base layout is loaded and then other pages are added and then the drawer menu is added and here we just said authenticated is equals to false and then here we show the sign in page so we need to add the categories so it's in main and then categories dot initialize app so what this this does is to go to the categories class and call this né? it initializes that class and then it adds the page to the pages collection of our application now in browser app what we need to do we need to make sure that the the, the page show is shown in our site menu né? so currently we're showing home services and contact us so we want to add our categories just below the settings yeah? so what we're going to do is to just copy this and then we're going to say categories so that the categories is shown under settings so what we have done so far is to create a blank page categories we created a layout and then in main in main we defined a link to categories to say that the categories is a class that we will use so that we can access it anyway and then in the browser app we initialize the page yeah? we added it here on add pages so that the application knows which pages that we have and then we added a link to the drawer as a child of settings so that we are running uh, when we're running the application the categories is shown now let's do this let's run the application uh, we'll change the name sd server app citazo yeah. daisy server app yeah. and then we run the application So when we run the application, it's going to come to main and then it's going to run upstart and then it's going to run banana ready and then in banana ready is going to call app.initialize, which we know that app.initialize is this particular thing. It initializes the Setazo Daisy library or the application, loads the base layout, and then we add other pages and then we create the menu drawer. And then we show the sign in page and then in end pages we initialize each of the pages that we're going to use in application and then create a drawer we add all of the pages that we want to show on the drawer here so let's run our application and then here as you know in previous citas days application when you click a menu it just shows the page now we have a new method here show server page because now we're working on a server is no longer a model a code model is a class model so i added a new model a code uh, subroutine to say show server page so this 
compiles our application and generates it and then uh, our server is actually running now so our server is running at the so what you need to do is to copy that and then you go to your browser and then you paste it there now because each and every time we compile the application the content of the application is stored in in the cache what we need to do is to do a control refresh so each and every time you compile make sure that you do a compile refresh so that the application works now the application is working but it's saying everything is all right the problem here is that if you go to our application you'll see that the build here is cancelled why because this folder here is right protected in our application so we need to go there as the server one object and make it uh, to be able to be written into so let's go there and open that server a folder workspace st server one so it's saying the objects folder is right protected so we're going to just click on objects and uh, go to properties and remove this and click on apply apply and then everything now is going to be set to be okay you know so that's what we needed to do now we come here again we run our application so it's going to be able now to generate the resources that are needed to make the application work so the the difference with the previous it has a daisy application is that now these ones are class the pages are class classes no longer code models and also there's that new method to show the page and then you add the pages in main and then you have an initialized subroutine for each of the page because you had show before but now you have an initialized uh, subroutine for each of the page that needs to be called to add the page to the application so that is the only difference but everything else is working the same when you want to refer to another page in the application because the class is defined in main you just say main dot page name dot show or whatever subroutine that you will need to run so now it's compiling the application is converting the b4j code to javascript loading the layouts these are the layouts that we have created so that everything is a uh, working properly so we just wait for it to generate whatever is needed to be generated by the application also what you need to note is that we're using the experimental banana 8.26 library here you know banana server is 819 uh, which is fine um, because I just decided to use the experimental library because of uh, internal EJL files that I needed okay now let's go to the logs again it's still compiling so you just wait for this process to compile and finish so our server is running our jt server is running so you copy that again it's already here anyway so you can just do a control refresh all the time control refresh and then everything is going to be working fine so our application now is working so this is the sign in page because you'll remember that we said that when the application is started here you show the sign in page and remember the sign in page is referenced in main which is referring to that browser sign in class so what's happening here is the page has started now this is expecting some content so we're going to say at gmail.com Bang. okay let me just say show dot gmail.com okay let me say remember me here and then i click on sign in okay. now this shows my application okay. and then you can log in off sorry you can log off then log in again now our drawer this has home the welcome home our services you can put anything here in your abstract designer layout for it to work generate your events 
contact us and then settings we have users and then we have categories we had said that labels would be our lorem epsom then you see your lorem epsom there so if you look off ne, and then forgot password ne, this shows the forgot password screen here is the forgot password screen the reset password is the email is required but however you can go to sign in again from here then if you want to sign up you go to sign up then you click on sign up this is required so the next process in relation to this is we're going to install pocket base because pocket base is using a rest api we have been using pocket base for a while and then we're going to link this application to pocket base pocket base will be running on another port within our server which means that you can deploy both pocket base and our server application on the same vps and then what we'll do is to create an application that is going to have crude functionality to that where for example we'll be able to sign up users then let's go to sign in and then sign up users and um access our application so this is just a skeleton application of course that is just the beginning of what we're trying to do here but as you can see it's running on our local host 55056 you know so your drawer is there we've added the items on the drawer by using uh, this uh, subroutine here you'll remember this subroutine from the previous examples of Citaso Daisy and then our ad pages now is using uh, referencing from the other pages now the other interesting thing is you need to take into consideration here is all our click events all our click events banana event you need to call e prevent default now what that does does is to make sure that the whatever you are clicking it doesn't follow the default processes for example the patterns are considered to be links so when you click a link it's supposed to go to another page so in all of your banana events calls make sure that you say e dot preventable so that it doesn't treat it as a url link yeah. so i've updated some of those yeah. so that's basically what i wanted to show these are our pages oh okay the categories page uh, oh yes we added it here so it is here under that yeah so users then you can add your tables and do whatever you want to do so you can play around and explore like changing your icons your font or some and experimenting with this but so far the first test in relation to running our banana server application as you can see here it is actually working working very very well so what we're going to do in the next option uh, video we're going to be looking at how do we add crude functionality link it to the pocket based database because basically with this i mean if you have pocket base there's no actually need for you to be using gr grdc because it's just a a, a a database that is being called directly by the server you know is running on the server for you so the example that is here is based on mysql but i'm not going to use mysql for this um, i'm not going to use mysql for this i'm just going to use a uh, pocket base for now so that we just are able to have something that is going to be easily running within our 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 server environment uh, and it's quicker to set up when you're using pocket base because pocket base has all user authentication uh, creating your table structure and everything it just makes it easy to do that and i've already created a library in b4j uh, for pocket base where for example if you want to use the rest api for uh, pocket base then you are able to actually just use the rest api you know uh, within pocket base you see by calling by using http utils yeah so for now we are just going to use pocket base and the way that we've been using it with um, the other projects and then create our structures so as you have noted our application is working we have navigation 
you know uh, we have created a, a multiple page and then we've created a lock up screen you know and everything there is fine thank you